What's up guys? Superhero Movie Reactor here. And uh, I am about to react uh, one of the, uh, what's it, Clever Movies or Machinima? I think it's Clever Movies. Clever Movies. Uh, the, mo the nine most anticipated comic book movies 2017. Uh, this is going to be good. Let's see what we have in store for it, huh? And uh, yes, let's talk more reaction. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Booyah! Comic book movie title wave isn't slowing down anytime soon. So today we're looking ahead to next year to rank the most anticipated comic book movies of 2017. Nice. With Marvel and DC both cranking out movies as fast as they can, it's a great time to be a comic book movie fan. Theaters are constantly getting restocked with films about colorful characters with crazy powers fighting evil. And with just one comic book movie left to arrive in theaters this year, it's time to see what 2017 has in store for us. Mm -hmm. Starting with number nine, Untitled Fox Marvel Movie. Considering we still have no idea exactly what Fox has in store for us come October 6, 2017, we really had no choice but to put it dead last. Of course, if it somehow ends up being Deadpool 2, you can bet it will be jumping up high on our list. But most likely, this is being held for the Channing Tatum Gambit movie. <laughs> Considering most fans were too excited about this one in the first place, and the amount of trouble it's been having, we're safe saying it's exactly in the right place on our list. Number 8, Wolverine 3. The fact that this will mark the end of Hugh Jackman's reign as Wolverine, and that it's rumored to be based on the Old Man Logan storyline should have us more excited for this March 3rd release. But recent set photos suggest it will be an extremely loose telling of that story, if at all. Add to that the lackluster appearance of Jackman as Wolverine in this summer's X-Men Apocalypse, and we just don't feel as excited as we hope to be. We're sure our excitement will grow once we see some actual footage, or at least we hope so. Number 7, The Lego Batman Movie. Mm. 2014's The Lego Movie was one of the biggest surprises to arrive in theaters that year. And if this spin-off set for February 10th is even half as good, it has a chance of becoming one of the best movies of the year, period. In the film, Will Arnett will reprise his role as the over-the-top voice of Bruce Wayne's brooding alter ego, and will be joined by the likes of Ralph Fiennes as Alfred Pennyworth, Michael Sarah as Robin, Zach Galifianakis as the Joker, and Rosario Dawson as Batgirl. Following the all-too-depressing Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, it will be nice to see a fun, more light-hearted take on the Caged Crusader, and it will be a nice reminder too. that Batman does not always have to be dark and violent. If the Lego movie is any indication, we can expect the Lego Batman movie to be a hilarious, exciting, and visually interesting movie for the whole family that will definitely allow it to stand out among the other comic book movies set to arrive. Number 6, Kingsman The Golden Circle. A new one. Last year's Kingsman The Secret Service was a surprisingly fun ride, so we're hoping its sequel, The Golden Circle, will be just as fun. What we know so far is Eggsy and Merlin will join forces with their American counterparts known as the Statesmen to help take down a new threat in the form of Julian Moore's Poppy. Along for the ride will be Halle Berry, Channing Tatum, Jeff Bridges, Elton John, and yes, even Colin Firth. We don't know exactly how he survived that bullet to head, or even if he did, but we can't wait to find out. Sounds in the movie yet? Don't spoil me. Number five, Spider-Man Homecoming. Despite being the biggest comic book character in the world, Spider-Man has had a bit of a spotty track record when it comes to his big screen outings. After two franchise launches in just over a decade, he finally has joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and his appearance in this summer's Captain America Civil War has fans excited for his 2017 solo film. Regardless of the excitement and the fact that the film will see Robert Downey Jr. return as Iron Man and Michael Keaton will bring classic villain Vulture to the big screen for the first time. Really? Still somewhat weary of yet another Spider-Man reboot. There's been lots of rumors of the film containing multiple villains and we know how that usually works out. So, while our excitement mm. levels are high, we're still remaining cautiously optimistic about this one. Mm. Number 4, Wonder Woman. 
Regardless of what you thought of Batman versus Superman, I think you would disagree that Gal Gadot was one of the film's bright spots. After months of complaining She's about Gal Gadot not possessing certain physical aspects often associated with the character, she completely proved to her detractors that she was the right woman for the job all along. Wonder Woman is one of DC Comics' biggest stars, and with female-led comic book movies so few and far between, It'll be nice to see one given the resources that it needs to succeed. We'd probably put this one even higher on the list, but the DC Extended Universe has yet to yield a film that is a bona fide hit with critics and fans alike. So just like Spider-Man Homecoming, <coughs> we remain cautiously optimistic. Number 3, Thor Ragnarok. Yes. While fellow Avengers Captain America and Iron Man have been killing it when it comes to their solo films, Thor's first two outings have been somewhat <coughs> underwhelming. Marvel seems to have listened to fan complaints, though, and they've decided to change things up for his third outing. While the promise of seeing Ragnarok play out on the big screen is enough to get us all very excited, mm -hmm. the real draw is the addition of Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. Hulk has been one of the best parts of the Avengers movies, but has so far been sitting on the sidelines when it comes to solo adventures. And to see these two strong men teaming up means we are in for some awe-inspiring action scenes. Yes. Now add to that confirmation of elements of the Planet Hulk storyline playing out, and a cast that includes new additions like Kate Blanchett, Jeff Goldblum, Carl Urban, and Tessa Thompson, and Ragnarok promises to finally give Thor a movie that is indeed mighty. Number two, Justice League. A couple years ago, a Justice League movie would easily top any most anticipated list. But following the lackluster response to Batman vs. Superman and Suicide Squad, when it ended up not being the DCEU savior that everyone was hoping it would be, we just can't get it the top spot. Regardless of what's come before, though, there's no getting away from the fact that seeing a fully formed Justice League for the first time on the big screen is something to get excited for. Early Comic-Con footage makes it look like they're going to allow the characters to show a bit more of their lighter side, and The Flash promises to give the DCEU some much-needed comic relief. We don't know if it will be able to learn from the mistakes of its predecessors and truly create the DC extended universe that fans have been hoping for, but we can't wait to find out. And number one, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The surprise hit of Marvel's Phase 2 was 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. A space adventure that felt like a combination of Star Wars and Indiana Jones with, you know what, a healthy dose of space balls thrown in for good measure. Guardians featured a yes. stellar cast led by Chris Pratt, and as long as Volume 2 continues down the same path, Marvel should have another hit on their hands. The last film left us wondering who Star-Lord's father really was, and while his identity was officially revealed at this year's Comic-Con, we do expect plenty of more secrets to be revealed come May 5th. From seeing baby Groot in action to finding out just who exactly Sylvester Stallone will be playing, and of course, what songs so will make up awesome mixing number two? We're oh, more dear. excited to see our favorite <laughs> misfit space adventurers back on the big screen. So there you have it, you guys. Our list of the most anticipated comic book movies of 2017. My question to you, which upcoming releases tops your list? Please head down to the comment section or hit me up on Twitter at Miriam Issa and let us know. And then click over here to watch us rank the most important movie franchises right now. I'm Miriam Issa. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys soon with more Listed. Click to the left to find out which movies will most likely make up Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe or click right to find out which female-led Marvel movies we'd like to see get made. I love the Wonder Woman editing series. It's so, so cool. Definitely. I can't wait to see the new Wonder Woman that's coming out soon enough. I can't wait. And the Justice is following up there. So, <clears throat> Yeah, that's, uh, that's very interesting. Uh, so uh, I'm going to make this short right now because I'm just making long videos here. So uh, if you like my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe and share it. And don't forget to comment below and tell me what you thought of the nine most anticipated comic book movies of 2017. Okay guys, this is Superhero Movie Reactor saying, I'll see you guys next time.
Anyway, guys, if you like my reaction videos, click the like button, subscribe and share, and don't forget to comment below, and check my other channels right here, and don't forget to subscribe.